Good. All right, my name is Pete Nimmer. I'm the police chief for the village of Brown Deer. Uh, today at about 10.09 a.m., our officers were dispatched for a shots fired call. Upon our arrival to the scene, our officers were fired upon from the second floor balcony. Our officers set up a perimeter. We requested mutual aid from multiple agencies, from the North Shore, Milwaukee Police Department, North Shore Fire Department, Milwaukee Fire Department as well. Um, after that, our officers uh, made entry, uh, the Milwaukee TAC team made entry into the apartment and uh, cleared the scene. At this time, we have uh, three people who are deceased, one who is injured, including the suspect. There's a male white, 31 years of age, who is deceased. Female black, 23 years old, who's deceased. And the suspect is a male black, 26 years old and deceased. And the individual shot in the, the leg is a male black, 36 year old male black. It appears that uh, it started as a domestic dispute between two people, which led to the incident. At this time, the scene is safe. There's no other suspects that we are looking for. There's no harm or reason to believe that there's anybody else that is going to pose a threat to our community. And I'll take any questions at this point. So clearly the investigation is still going. We have, uh, I should also mention that the uh, investigation is being conducted by the Milwaukee Area Investigative Team, being led by Wauwatosa Police Department. Um, while we, no officers from our agency or the North, North Shore agencies or any other agency fired the weapon, uh, we brought the Milwaukee Area Investigative Team in to help us conduct it just because of the magnitude of the air, of the crime scene. And so they are, they are conducting the investigation along with uh, Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigations and the crime lab. They are, uh, right now, are currently doing that. Um, investigation. I also want to indicate that the, the apartment building has been uh, found to be safe and secure. And we are at this point, I don't know all the relationships of all the victims involved. Uh, we, have, we know at least two knew each other. Uh, non life threatening injuries, I believe he might have already been released from the hospital. Yeah, I mean, the best we can tell is people are trying to help out. Um, and, you know, our officers, when they arrived, the suspect was on the second floor balcony uh, firing at our officers. Uh, they actually hit our canine squad. Uh, thankfully, the canine was not struck. Uh, the vehicle was struck, but not, not the dog or any of our officers. So I'm very thankful for that. I want to I say that I'm very proud of our department of uh, all the people that responded today. I want to especially thank the Milwaukee Police Department who responded quickly and were of the utmost help to us uh, in this investigation as well as many others, but initially they were very uh, helpful to us. Where's the child? So thank you for that. Uh, th there was a child that was in the apartment. That child thankfully is unharmed and is now with family members. Believe the uh, suspect uh, shot himself. Were all shots uh, were all shots that hit someone done from the balcony or another location as well? So we're, we're trying to determine that at, at this point. Uh, we believe that the uh, there's activity in the apartment as well as the hallway and uh, the parking lot as well. So we don't know exactly where everybody was shot. Did the suspect live at this? complex. Yes. So at this point, we, uh, those that were in the building at the time felt that they could stay if we had them shelter in place. Uh, so we have not evacuated the building. So those that are currently in the building are still in the building now, just sheltering in place. Uh, we're not sure. And did the suspect 
I do not have any criminal history with me at this point. There are, uh, I was I was made aware that there was a Facebook Live uh, feed going on. The details of that and what was contained in that, I'm not sure. Sure, uh, we're working on that. Uh, I, I think uh, we're going to try it in a couple hours. I think we'll have at least uh, the area where the third and first floors will be able to return. On uh, the second floor of that building, we'll probably have people uh, not be able to go back there for a while. But we're working with them. We had um, Office of Emergency Management here, as well as the Red Cross. And uh, so we have some things set up if people need to find shelter. And if they, people do need to find any shelter, if you can have contact, uh, Bayside Communications, and we'll, we'll get that set up. don't believe so. How long uh, did the negotiation go on before uh, the suspect shot himself? <clears throat> so we, we believe after firing upon our officers, our officers believe that they heard one more round soon after they were shot upon, and we believe that was the round that was the self the gunshot. And why did the officers not return fire when they were shot at? I don't know. When will you be naming the suspect and victims? Uh, I would imagine in the next 24 hours. Until we have a notified family of those. Uh, anybody else? Any message to the community the last update for the evening? This will be the last update for the evening. Um, if we have another one, we'll send out a press release. We also have a press release that will go out after this, uh, and you'll have that. that are sheltered in place can leave. Uh, they are just being asked that they, the investigators that are there, uh, they talk to them before they leave and then they can leave, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you.